Well, good morning. Let's see. This is Friday. I think it's the 31st. And I'm on a back road here. Let's see. Back country byway, adventure road, Warm Springs Wood Road. This way. Um, this is a scenic byway. I'm not going to be able to take the whole thing. It takes about four hours and you go over Lim High Pass, which uh, Liz Clark went over, and I think Clark went over by himself on the way back. Um, we're in a valley where Sacagawea came from, and she was reunited with her uh, with her brother here. But anyway, this road to uh, Lehigh Pass, when it gets up toward the top, I guess it turns into a pretty serious four-wheel drive road. According to the everything I read, I could probably make it in my vehicle, but I'm by myself, you know, and it's four-wheel drive, and they say you should have, make sure you got a spare tire, equipment to change it, and I'm like, mm, well, maybe I'll to not try this by myself, and also it would get me into Idaho Falls really late. But anyway, I think there's a monument here somewhere. where Meriwether Lewis unfurled the flag of the United States on the western slope for the first time. First time on this side of the Continental Divide. Supposedly a marker commemorating that, but I haven't seen it yet. It was just at a kiosk and I didn't see any mention of it there. It's on the map. some kind of a campground up here or something. If I get to that before I get to the flag that I know I've passed it. Oh, here's some vehicles here. I think this is, what is this? This may be it here. Oh, this is a Sharky Hot Springs, okay. Then I've passed, it must have been a tech kiosk I was at. Well, we'll go here and read the signs, and then we'll head back down. There's a hot springs here. There's little changing rooms and a couple of little hot pools, and you can go sit up there and appear in the middle of nowhere. Just saw this monument up on the hill. I'm betting that's it. I don't see any signage yet. Or a path to climb up there. I couldn't climb up there if I had to. Let's go on down the road here and see what, what's what. Nice of them to put that up there where nobody can get to it. Huh? That's got to be it. Uh, they said that. Fort Lemhi Cemetery. Huh. Well, I think that's the monument they're talking about. But I'm not sure. Okay, real quickly, I uh, got the binoculars out and looked at the plaque on the side of that monument. That is not the monument uh, commemorating Mary Weathers unfurling the flag. It's a uh, basically a ruins of an old mission that was up here, Salmon Mission. There was, apparently there was a fort here, Fort Lemhi, at one time. That's why they signed back here, said Lemhi Cemetery. So I still don't know where that monument is. Never mind. Okay. Uh, back down by the highway there was a store and I stopped in there go to the restroom get something and there's a little map on the poster down there to show this monument I've been looking for up past those hot springs instead of this side of the hot springs like my map showed so you know I'll never be through it's not that far off the road 
I'll never be here again. I'm just going to go up there and see if I can find it. And uh, hopefully I will. Okay, I'm three or four miles past that hot springs. Way up in the mountain now. Been climbing for quite a while. Finally found this monument. Looks like the plaque's been removed. Looks like I shot the sign there with a shotgun. Probably the Indians. They, they had it made out here until we showed up. Can't really blame them in a way. But anyway, we're kind of top of this hill. Goes even up higher. Them high passes over there somewhere. Again, just a little more adventuring than I want to do is enough adventure just getting up here. So, heading back down. Okay, I'm just going to turn this off a little bit so you kind of get an idea where the heck I'm at. Way down there in that little green area is the highway I need to get to. About uh, eight miles up this road according to the mile marker signs. Just downhill all the way back. This road's not too bad, it's a little narrow in places, but the road getting here not too bad, but it's supposed to get deteriorated when they're getting up higher. Like I say, I'd love to do it, but I'd want to do it with somebody else, not by myself. When you're young and foolish, you can do things like that. If you get in trouble, you can walk out, but I can't walk out. Alright, so this is the... Metropolis of Ledor. And it's the last stop for a whole bunch of miles. I look, looked on the map and there ain't nothing down there. Let's see what the sign says. I think it's at least 50 miles before the next thing. Maybe more. Down this road about five miles or so are supposed to be some charcoal kilns used over a hundred years ago. We'll see. We will see. Wandering around with Grandpa. Alright, so that's what I come over here to see. It's these old kilns. Go up here and take my pictures and then we'll get out. This is really a back road. <laughs> Grass is growing down the center of the road. You know, not too many people come down here. But they're pretty cool looking kilns. Made charcoal in them. Yeah, 
Yep, sir. Definitely in the country this time. I'm gonna get myself in trouble one of these days. I don't stop doing this.